that today's live training will be on how to build a global community organically by getting booked on other people's platforms. This is part two of this two part series. So in this training, I'll be sharing how to find your platform, how to outreach, how to make the connection and get booked. Okay. This training is part of a two part sequel, which will cover the three steps to building a global community organically. In today's training, I'm going to teach you the second and third steps to building your global community organically. So part one of this training sequel was delivered two weeks ago, where we covered how to craft your soul story and how to integrate your journey into your core message. If you missed this training, comment hashtag part one, and I'll drop you the direct link to catch the replay. So today we're going to be continuing that conversation. We'll be diving into where to find your platform, how to outreach, how to make the connection and get booked. So comment hashtag learn if you are ready to learn and grow with me today. Wonderful. If you're ready to learn and grow, comment hashtag learn. So before we get into this training, I want to go over this original quote from yours truly. I want to remind everyone that even the sun hides behind the clouds. But when your light is called upon, radiate your light and shine on. When your warmth is called upon, radiate your light and shine on. If this is you right now, you're sitting there and you're saying that, 2020 has been quite a challenge, but you know, you just know that you want to build your own business. You want to enrich your personal life. You want to grow your global community. I want to remind you that your gifts and your talents are so very unique. See, there's no one like you. So it's time, it's time to harness your power within and begin to radiate your light. See, we each have a distinct gift we have been blessed with. And holding back from sharing this blessing is a disservice to the world and most importantly, yourself. I myself was once a shy girl with a lisp. And look at me now. I'm a pharmacist by trade, transformational rhythmic speaker, and an empowerment guru. See, there is no better day than today to start recreating yourself. It's high time. You can do it. And I want to remind you of this as we go through this training. So let's dive right on in by letting you know who I am. Some of you I do, not, I do know who are here with me live on the call. And there are others I do not know. So I'm Dr. Peace Ucha, also known as Doc Peace, and I'm the creator of the Golden Program and the Golden Speaking Program. Through the Golden Program, I help women who are feeling stuck in their lives and unfulfilled clearly define their purpose and confidently advance towards that purpose and get it going. And through the Golden Speaking Program, I help wellness experts in particular who are stuck in their career create a golden offer, grow their online-based business organically. I'm also a transformational rhythmic speaker who transforms mindsets using the power of spoken word. Spoken word is also known as rhythmic poetry. In 2019, I spoke on over 20 platforms and in 2020, this year, I've spoken on over 30 platforms, both in person and virtual, of course. I'm based in San Diego, California. And prior to COVID, I spoke throughout the community and had the luxury of traveling to beautiful places like Vancouver, Canada and Tucson, Arizona for presentations and performances. And the cool thing about now is that I get to visit those places and more virtually. The world is so vast, people, and it's absolutely incredible being able to connect with my global network. So if you're not familiar with spoken word, I would like to, and if you would like to experience it, I want to invite you to go to my Instagram and just go to Instagram and type in doc P. So you'll see spoken word clips, which I call flows. So 
this I call them flows because inspiration seems to flow and inspire others. So whether I'm speaking to a corporate audience or on a podcast, I always find a way to integrate spoken word because one, it can be quite raw, vulnerable, inspiring, and empowering. And two, it's a way for me to express myself fully, express myself fully and openly. It's also a way to connect. Get it, get it connected. Comment hashtag connect if you are ready to learn how to get it connected, how to get it connected, how to get it connected. Comment hashtag connect. Let's get started on how we can get it connected here today. So, <laughs> all right, everyone, I'm going to be doing another free giveaway. In this giveaway, I'll send you an autographed copy of my book, Doc Peace of Mind Method, A Poetic Guide to Living Your Best Life. And the person who receives this book will be the individual who is the most engaged during this training. So for those of, of you who have never hosted a live training like this before, it can be a little strange talking to the screen. So the more engagement I get from you in the comments helps to keep that energy flowing and helps me know that you're here with me and present. So it also lets me know what questions you may have. So drop any questions you may have or any feedback about the training into the comments. So whoever is the most engaged in the comments will get a free copy of my best selling book. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, let's dive right on in. <laughs> let's get it going. In today's training, we will be learning how to find your ideal platforms and make the outreach. One of the most important steps in building your global community is doing your research. Being the pharmacist that I am, I am a huge research advocate. And this is so very important in finding your ideal platform. It will also help you understand the importance of effective outreaches. So I want you to start finding platforms that will place you in front of your ideal audience your ideal audience who will resonate with your soul story and who will need the services that you provide. So when you research these platforms, check the audience, check their audience. Does their audience align with or include your target audience? I want you to also check their physical location. Is their audience predominantly located in your community or does it expand globally? Also check their marketing. Are they getting the word out about what they have going on? How are they getting the word out? Are they streaming their virtual events on various platforms? Are they blasting what they have going on on multiple platforms as well? It's also very important to check their themes or agendas. Does their chosen topic align with your message or area of expertise? I want you to start wrapping your head around what opportunities are out there and what platforms are available for you to share your message on. Have you ever done this kind of research before? Have you dove deep into what platforms are available for your message? This is really important to help you really identify what's happening in your community and in other communities. Yes, Lauren Turton, platforms that have my ideal audience. Yes, so very important here. So this is gonna show you what's happening in the marketplace and the opportunities that exist. Oftentimes when people get started with speaking on other people's platforms, they get fixated on the number of people in the audience. They get fixated on the reach of the email list or all the marketing and streaming outlets that the host will be using, but the really important thing here is the impact you make. The impact you make is based on your ability to actually form connections despite these things. So take the time to craft your soul story. Take the time to create a solid and compelling message to share regardless of the size of the audience. One connection is better than none. One connection is better than no connection. So let's get it connected. Okay. 
So Erica, you haven't taken the time to do this, but I know after this training, you will be doing this research. I trust that you will, and you'll know how. So here is a list of ways you can find these opportunities. In this, in this Find Your Platform cheat sheet, you can see the wide variety of platforms that are available. There are so many platforms, Starlings. There's physical platforms and virtual platforms. Let me clarify, by physical platforms, I'm referring to an actual building or a place where you would speak in person. Not many of those are currently going at the moment. Virtual platforms meet online where you would connect and speak virtually. Physical platforms may also offer a virtual platform, especially during this time that we're in now. So keep this in mind when identifying your target platforms. There is no particular order to this suggested list of target platforms. And I want to really clarify that your target audience plays a huge role in selecting your target platforms. So let's now determine what target platforms would be best for your message. If you've spoken on any one of these platforms before or the idea of speaking on any one of these platforms in particular resonates with you, Comment, comment and let me know which one of these platforms in particular kind of screams at you or shouts at you or really catches your eye. Okay, let's begin our journey down this cheat sheet with schools. This category can include high schools, colleges, universities. I actually have a couple upcoming speaking opportunities at my alma mater, University of California, San Diego. I'm gonna be speaking at both their annual Tritons Leaders Conference and their From Rec to Careers event in which they bring in alumni who are doing incredible work throughout the community. It really is quite an honor. <laughs> I'll be sharing insight and inspiration with my fellow alumni, staff, and current students. Here's an idea. Could you reach out to your alma mater and other schools in your community? Keep in mind your target audience here. Always keep in mind your target audience. Another idea is corporate events. Have you spoken at or considered speaking at corporate events? Many corporate businesses host routine meetings in which they bring in experts from the community to educate their staff. When I worked in the corporate world, my office hosted weekly lunch and learns. Here they would bring in speakers from around the community to share their message while we, the staff ate lunch. I recently had the opportunity to speak at a lunch and learn or a lunch talk hosted by a worldwide corporation where I was able to speak to over 400 members of the team virtually. This allowed me to reach a global network. It was absolutely incredible. So research corporate events in your area. Perhaps you can share your message at a virtual lunch and learn. <laughs> Okay, Erica, Venus venues and conferences. So have you spoken at venues and conferences or are you looking to speak at venues and conferences? Because that's a really good, good avenue to go, go, go through. So this brings us to community associations. Have you spoken or considered speaking at community associations? Many Rotary clubs are still hosting virtual meetings. Some cities have multiple Rotary Clubs, and this is a great opportunity to get your message out to your community. Okay, so you can see that there's so many different opportunities, countless opportunities here, Starlings, but I wanna focus now on social media. I've gotten many opportunities speaking at in-person events as well as virtual online events from networking through my social network networking through my social network. So reach out to your network and see how you can assist because the key to getting is giving. I'm gonna say that again, the key to getting is giving. So you want a platform to share your message. They may want a unique speaker to deliver a message on their platform. This platform may be in the form of a podcast, a Facebook community group, or even a virtual summit. Their community may be in desperate need of your expertise. 
So comment hashtag true if you agree that you're that what you offer is gold, that what you offer is is gold. And I believe that everyone is gold, so I should be seeing everyone here that is live comment hashtag true. Okay, Eric, I'm seeing your, your comment here. Not conferences. I've spoken at quite a few on your list and weeded out quickly where my audience was not. Good. That's perfect. Good work. Hashtag true. So this is how we grow our global community. And you probably heard me say this so many times, together we thrive because it's true. Together we thrive. So take a screenshot of this, this list of platforms and start looking into them and making the outreach. Start making the outreach. Which one of these platforms resonates with you? Share it in the comments if you haven't already shared, shared already. Venues and conferences for Erica. Which one of these platforms resonates with you? Start looking into that one first and starting with that platform. You, I, I encourage you to start with the platform that most resonates and the most one that most excites you because starting with the platform that most excites you will help you get the motivation to get it going and make the connection. Okay, so before we continue with this training, I want to take this time to compare some of the free platforms that are available virtually. So on the left are six examples of free platforms. And at the top, you'll see what it is that you can share on each platform. The green box indicates a green light. So for example, you can see that on Facebook community groups, when you're invited as a, on as a guest speaker, generally you can inspire. You can inspire the members of that community with your soul story, for example. So there's a green light on that, a green box. You can also share your book. So if you've authored a book, congratulations. You can share your book on pretty much any platform. A book gives credibility in your area of expertise and people want to know more about how they can read up and learn about the value that you offer. It's great free publicity to have a book. Great free publicity. And you, you can also teach. You can provide a little sneak peek into your strategies by offering a mini training session. So I recently interviewed Lauren Turin. He was here on the call. I interviewed her last week and she had slides prepared. It was such incredible value. So, such value packed, an incredible session where she led with value but didn't give away all her cake. Just a sneak peek into her expertise. So, lead with value. When, especially when you're speaking on other people's platforms, always lead with value. You can also give a freebie. Basically, you can talk about a lead magnet you have that you offer for free. This isn't really hopping on a free discovery call. This is not hopping on a free discovery call. It's more tangible, like a free training or a workshop or an invite to join your private community. So you can see that on many of these free virtual platforms, you can all but straight up sell. You can all but straight up sell. You can share what you have going on. You can share your value. You can share your soul story. You can share your freebies. But what you don't want to do is pitch your high ticket offer. Not quite yet because the audience, the new, this new audience doesn't yet know, like, and trust you. You want to build that relationship first. The big exception to this is if you're hosting, if you are the one hosting that Facebook group, you can do whatever you want on your own Facebook group. It's your group. It's your audience. It's your tribe. There are some other Facebook platforms may, that may let you sell on their platform, but you want to seek permission first from the host before you do so. So now that you understand some of the virtual platforms that are available, let's proceed with our training. Is this all making sense? Is this all making sense? Comment hashtag makes sense if you're still with me. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Okay, wonderful. This brings us to how to make the outreach. 
there are many ways to make an outreach. There's email, there's direct messaging, there's sliding into that DM, Facebook messaging, LinkedIn. I wanna focus on social media outreaches, specifically Instagram DMs and Facebook messaging. So this is one of my most favorite parts, actually making the connection. Your outreach should contain three components, your soul intro, your unique message, and your connection inquiry. So in part one of this training, we went deep into crafting your soul story. If you recall, a soul story is a story from your life road that closely resonates with your soul, hence soul story. This soul story is what you share when you are speaking on other people's platforms. It helps when you need to connect quickly and authentically with that relatively new audience. Your soul intro is a single phrase that best wraps up both your soul story and your elevator pitch. It wraps both of these things up in a power packed bundle. This intro can be used anytime you're given the opportunity to introduce yourself. So what specific words best define your who, your why, and your how? You want your soul intro to be clear. You want it to be concise and you want it to be an accurate description of who you are, what you do, and how you do it. So Erica, yes, totally making sense. I'm so very glad to hear. How concise am I talking here? How concise do you want your soul intro to be? You want to share your one sentence intro in 16 words or less. You may need to spend some time, maybe a lot of time, <laughs> crafting multiple drafts. You want to read and share with others. You want to read it out loud. You want to share with others to create a clear and concise soul intro. The next portion is your unique message. Your unique message is, is just that. It's your unique message. So what expertise do you speak on when you take the mic? What would you be able to share with their audience? Again, be concise. You don't want a novel here when you make that first outreach. And lastly, the connection inquiry, where you basically ask how to best connect. Do you want them to email you? Do you want them to give you a call? Do you want them to schedule a call? If you're emailing, you'll want to specify which one of these you would like the reader to do, the host of that platform to do. When I'm direct messaging, I tend to continue the conversation. I inquire more on how I can learn more about their platform. I ask if the message I speak on would be of interest to their audience. And if the answer is positive, we proceed from there. Okay, Erica, yes, that takes time, but it's worth it. So true, right? It takes time to create this soul intro. It takes time to create this outreach pitch, but it's so, it's so worth it. So let's dive in to this even more. Here are some examples of a soul intro. Here's examples of a unique message, of my unique message, and an example of a connection inquiry. So, my soul intro. Doc Peace helps wellness experts clearly, clearly define individual purpose to confidently get it going and make success inevitable. My unique message. Tips and strategies I use to empower confidence include spoken word, my magical seven step method and my personal affirmation creation tool, which is the ultimate pact with your inner self. And then I inquire on how we can better connect. Would your audience enjoy this message or conversation or training? How can I best connect with you and learn more about your podcast show or group? Okay. I call this golden value. <laughs> You may have heard how important it is to lead with value. I say outreach with golden value. So if this is all making sense, comment hashtag gold. Comment hashtag gold if this is all making sense. So Erica, you said I was just about to ask for an example. You know what I want. 
I do. I do. Of course, I'm going to throw in some examples. So now I want you to begin to craft your soul intro. What would your soul intro say about you in 16 words or less? What would your soul intro say about you in 16 words or less? Who are you? What do you do? And why do you do what you do? Hashtag gold. Wonderful. Here are images of actual responses to my outreaches. So Cedric Riley of America's Next Motivator, without a doubt, <laughs> when I asked him if, he would, if his audience would be interested in hearing more about what I speak on, he responded without a doubt. There's a voice message from Colton Trout. I tried tra transcribed it below. Absolutely it would. Love that acronym for gold. One of the main core values of the Today the, Today's the Day community is living unapologetically authentic to who we are as we seek after our vulnerable growth moments. So I really, really love that acronym. I think we're going to have a lot to talk about. Let me go ahead and send you a link to access my schedule and we can get this on the books. Okay, and then there's another response from Polish Peter of Immigrant Masters Unite. That's great. Tell you what, can you head over to my calendar and there's a 15 minute pre-interview time slot? And then there's Deontay Bolden. Awesome. Please keep in touch and hopefully we can ha have, have you on our future broadcast. So you can just see the responses from this type of outreach. It really works, Starlings. This really works. So outreach with golden value, make the connection and get booked. Whew, is this all making sense? Okay, so you outreach, you make the connection, and the host you connected with says yes. They say yes, they say we want you to speak on our platform, we love what you speak on, let's get it going. They're interested in you sharing your message. Woo! So after you give yourself a high five, <laughs> what's next? If you're still following me and you're celebrating already in your head, comment hashtag high five. <laughs> it's super exciting when this connection happens. It's super exciting. And then the excitement that comes with knowing you'll be able to share your message, your soul story, your brand, your business on somebody else's platform is it's priceless. So soak in that excitement, soak that excitement in, what are ways you celebrate your wins, by the way? What are some ways that you celebrate my, your wins? My, my go-to is a self high five. <laughs> okay, high five. So after you've celebrated, you did your happy dance, you completed your self high five, what's next? What's next? You'll wanna get all the information you need for your future day. Your future day, you want to get the date, the time, specifically what time zone. This is so very important to specify the time zone, especially when we're working virtually with hosts of global platforms. So make sure you are super clear on the time zone here. I've spoken on quite a few platforms where I was, I was literally up at the crack of dawn to speak on the platform, but it was totally worth it. But just make note of this, of the time zone, and be prepared if the time zone of the host isn't the same one that you are in. By location, given that we are in the virtual world, I mean streaming platform. So what streaming platform will the event be hosted on? There are many different streaming platforms, so you wanna clarify which one the host intends to use and make sure you have access to it and are familiar with using it. So common streaming platforms that I've used personally include StreamYard and Zoom. I'm most comfortable with Zoom, but StreamYard is fairly easy as well. So you'll also wanna note if the set segment will be pre-recorded, if it's going to be streamed live or if it's going to be just pre-recorded. This will help minimize surprises on the day of. And lastly, what does the host need from you? What does the host need from you? 
I want to take the last part of this training to touch on two key necessities that you'll need to have prepared for when you get booked to speak on other people's platforms. Okay, so Lauren Turton, you say, especially if you're West Coast based, oftentimes East Coast based biz don't include their time zone when communicating. Hmm, the East Coast people don't include their time zone when communicating. This is so true. So always check the time zone. That's right, Lauren. Okay, so the two key necessities, there are two must haves that you'll want to have prepared for when you get booked so that you're not sitting there biting your fingernails in angst or rush to get it all going. We don't want you doing that. So there are two key necessities that you'll wanna have ready to go when you get booked to speak on other people's platforms and that's your bio and your headshot. Comment, got it, if you have these two things ready to go. Do you have these two things ready to go? And if you're still working on them, comment, on it. So do you got it or are you on it? Your bio is another form of your soul story and your soul intro. It gives the reader or the listener more insight into your who, your what, and your why. And then your headshot. You want a professional headshot of yourself ready to go. Your headshot and bio are shared to the audience of that platform. So you want to put your best face forward pun intended. <laughs> so comment hashtag help if you need help with either of these necessities. Erica, you got it. Perfect. Each and every time I speak on somebody else's platform, I am asked for at least these two things, headshot and bio. And one big tip I want to share with you today is an EPK, an electronic press kit. An EPK contains these two things, and more. It contains these two things and in, in all these other essentials that you'll find later on in an easy to access format. So comment EPK if you've ever heard of, if you've ever seen a seen an EPK or if even if even if you use an EPK now, comment hashtag EPK. I'm curious to see who who already has or heard has heard of an EPK. So let's talk more about an EPK. An electronic press kit contains all things digital that pertains to your business or your brand. It contains your headshots. It contains your bio, your logo, and more. And the reason why an EPK is super helpful is because it's easy access and it contains downloadable content. That's the key here, downloadable content. Erica, so I see you're finishing up your EPK. Woo, and Lauren, you're working on your EPK now. Great job, awesome. So the reason why an EPK is super helpful is because it's easy access and contains downloadable content. And so I wanna show you on the screen what I mean by this. So everyone on, this, on the call right now has started working on an EPK. So I wanna kinda of show you how mine looks like so you can kind of use this as an example to model yours. So on the screen, here this is a screenshot of my personal EPK. And here you can see that my EPK is where all my digital files can be found. And it contains to a it contains a link to a selection of headshots. I really like giving the host an option to select the headshot that speaks to them. These headshots that can be easily downloaded and it contains also contains my biography. My, my particular EPK I've had, I've also included a link to my official logos, my anchor lead in, sample interview questions, a, a list of my expert topics and even social media links because this has been requested so many times by people, by the hosts of the platforms that I've spoken on, especially recently. So this EPK is gold for a variety of reasons. It puts together all content that hosts may need to feature me on their platform and it's easy for me to send and it's easy for them to work with. <laughs> it's a win-win. They can grab what they need super easily. They need, they need a headshot. Browse my headshots and select the one that speaks to them. They need my bio, copy and paste. Boom, it's ready to go. It's simple. <laughs> so 
Every single host I've worked with has loved my EPK. So that's why I made it a point to ensure that all my VIP clients have one ready to go. So if you need help creating your EPK, comment hashtag EPK or hashtag help. I'll be happy to assist. Okay, so we went over quite a bit. <laughs> we went over finding your platform, outreaching with golden value, making the connection and getting booked. So I'm gonna check the comments, see if you have any questions. Drop them in the comments now and we'll we'll proceed. Lauren Turton, we rock. That's right, Erica, you both rock. <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay, so lastly, let's talk about engagement before, during, and after. The key to building your community is engagement. So before the speaking engagement, we want to make sure the host has everything they need to feature you in the best light. Your headshot, your bio, enter your EPK. <laughs> You'll also want to make sure you're connected with the host on social media so that they can tag you and vice versa on any posts pertaining to your feature. And of course, you want to make sure that you have effectively prepared for the questions they may be that may be posed regarding either your brand, your business or your journey. So during the engagement, you must have the following. These are the three E's of speaking on OPP. You must have eye contact. Yes, even virtually, eye contact is key. You ensure that you are looking directly at the camera, which gives the viewer the feeling that they are being seen and are important. I can literally feel more authentic energy when the speaker is making direct contact, making direct eye contact with the camera versus looking down at notes or sideways. For example, it's it's it just helps the energy to keep flowing when you feel like you're being you're being seen. So the the, the second E, ask engaging questions. Engage. Ask engaging questions that get your audience thinking and that lead that gets them to realize that you are leading with value. They understand that you're putting, you're, you're giving them so much value. You are engaging them. And lastly, number three, entice. Entice. Give that new audience a way to connect with you. Don't leave them hanging. Draw them into your golden castle by offering them a way to learn more from you and to connect with you. So, Eye contact, engage, entice, the three E's of speaking on other people's platforms. And then after the engagement, follow up, follow up, follow up with the host, thank them for having you speak on their platform, ask them if they have received any feedback or questions from the community regarding your segment, and then let them know that you're open to future collaborations and keep the line of communication open. Is this all making sense? Okay, Erica, I got to clean up my bio and this gives me some great ideas. Wonderful. Let's clean up that bio and focus on who you are, what you do and why you do what you do. Make it concise. Okay, so that's everything I have prepared for you today on getting it connected, which is part two of this training sequel to build a global community organically by getting booked on other people's platforms. Mm. We went into a lot, people. We went into how to find your platform, how to make that outreach and get booked to speak on other people's platforms. We introduced the components of a successful outreach, and we also touched on the two necessities that you'll need to have ready to go once you get booked to speak on other people's platforms. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any of this. I'm going to check them right now. Okay, Erica, I guess this was great. You are starling for sure. You you are starling too, Erica. So thank you so much for joining us today. If, if you are feeling called to build your global community organically, now is the time. 
Whether for personal growth or for business expansion, book a call with me. Let's talk about where you're at now, where you want to go, and if I can help fill in the gap to get you there. So simply go to Calendly.com forward slash doc piece, Calendly.com forward slash doc piece. We'll get on a quick call and explore ways in which I can help you support you on your journey. So before we close today, I want to touch on the power of warm intros real quick. The feedback from my clients speaks for itself. What do I mean by warm intros? It's when a mutual connection of a host and a speaker connects the two in one warm conversation. This increases the chances of the connection actually happening by over tenfold because it gives clout to the speaker and the host is now more assured that the speaker is credible. So, Saba Ali, thank you so much for the introduction piece. Chelsea, hi doc, thanks so much for this. This is great news. Yes, we would love for you to link us with them. Lauren Turton, thank you for the intro piece. I will send you an email, Colton. Lauren Panther, oh, about to go live on America's Next Motivator. Thanks for getting me booked on OPP. Woohoo, have fun Starling, super well. Allison Prophet, thank you so much for this introduction. Sedgwick Riley, she sounds like a great person to connect with, Dr. Peace. I'd love to. So <laughs> this is another feature, warm intros. I love doing these warm intros. And this is another feature I serve my one-on-one -on -one VIP clients with. I love, love doing these. I call them presenter intros. So comment hashtag intro if you would like some warm intros. It's actually one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> So again, I would love to talk with you about how, where you are on your life road and how I can help you along your transformational journey. So let's book a discovery call and I'm really excited to connect. Okay, so that wraps up our meeting today and as promised, I'm gonna do a giveaway for the person who is most engaged during this golden training session. So thank you everyone for stopping in I will see who was the most engaged the most during this training and I'll let you know in the comments who won my best selling book, Doc Peace of Mind Method. Okay, I'm gonna check the comments right now. Hashtag intro. Sure, Erica, yes, I got you. We'll do a warm intro. <laughs> of course, Lauren, warm intros, please. We'll keep that those warm intros flowing. <laughs> so if you don't have any more questions, we're going to wrap up this golden training session and uh, you know what to do. Book that discovery call with me and let's talk about where you're at and where you want to be. Together we thrive. Together we thrive. So I'm Doc Peace. Have a